Oh. It's been a long day. I wonder what I'm supposed to do today. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, my. My buzzer is going out. Hello? Yes, this is Woody. You left me something at. Over at the door? Okay. I'll go get it. Thank you. I don't remember ever getting anything. Better go check it out. I wonder what it is. I'm answering, I'm answering. Uh, hello? Hey, Woody. It's a uh, long time no see. Hey, Blossom. What's up? Um, well, I just wanted to know if it was alright if I could drop off our daughter, our daughter here. Okay. Um, so I'll pick her up tomorrow at, at seven. So you two have fun. Okay. This is pretty interesting. Guys, sorry if I go play out in the back. Here's and I don't mind. Thanks, Dad. Well, my name's Bear Forty Pride, and you're probably wondering how in the world did I end up like this, having my own daughter and my wife always dropping off there. Yeah. Well, that is a tale you're about to find out. It all started a long, long time ago. It started back when I was young and still working on old video series. You see, I was part of a show, an old show that was called The Rain Spongebob Show. Well, our life was a lot busy. I was always getting phone calls for new episodes and stuff, so I was always busy. Hello? Hey, it's Spongebob. Uh, make sure you guys get that, that new episode, Woody. I really count on you. Don't worry. I'll get it settled. Well, our series had been ran, running pretty smoothly and stuff. And one of my favorite actors of the show always came by. Did. Hey, Woody. What's up? My name's Bluff. We just met her earlier in the, that one scene where she dropped off my dog. Anyway, uh, past that. We were best friends for quite a long time, and, well, eventually we started seeing each other for a while, and then eventually we got married. And that's when we decided to decide, decided to adopt our own daughter. We both wanted something that we both liked. She wanted something that always had a bowl. Well, we finally got it one day as we had been walking, uh through the shelter and when that's when we discovered our um, wonderful daughter who plays outdoors right now. Well, that was how it was. But then years went by and eventually Blossom moved away. So I was alone and alone. And well, not until my roommates moved in. Woody, what do you talk about roommates? Well, you're about to meet them. Woody, what is it? Um, Pikachu just hit me again. Ah, uh, tell him to stop fighting or I'm going to kick him out this time. Why do, you, why do you keep on telling on me when I don't do anything, Spike? I was just having fun. Pikachu, did you hit... Spike again. No, I was not hitting him. We were playing video games together and he got mad because I beat him at a, a game. Really? And you hit him because he beat you? No, because he, I beat him and he hit me first in self defense. Oh my gosh. He could do just go sit over by that chair. Fine, I'll sit on this chair, but it's not going to help. Now, Spike, I want you to go over there and stand over by that, that corner of that desk there by those bell ships up. And I want you to think about what you did. Fine. 
it's pretty tough when you're a roommate. I'm kind of glad that I have my other roommate that's very organized. Hey, Woody. Got everything, all the mails checked and delivered for you. Is there anything else you need to do? Nothing else, Isabella. Just make sure um, Giggles gets plenty of, of fun out in the backyard. Sure, I'll go check on it. Thank you. Well, that's kind of like my busy life. Always got things to do and always having to deal with my two roommates. Well, that until my one of my roommate's friend What a what is it, Pikachu? How long do I have to sit in this chair? Uh quite a while, buddy. Quite a while. Um Isabella messaged me something. What did she message? She says that Spike has a friend that's gonna be coming to stay with us because he got kicked out of Cloudsdale school again. Ah Oh great. Is that okay if, uh, you know, if my friend stays here for a little while? I guess so. I guess we can have more than one more extra. But you guys all have to be on back behavior. We will, Woody. We promise. All right. Woody. I mean, Isabella, yes. Did you say um, uh, Spike's friend is supposed to come over? Yes. She'll be here at tomorrow. All right. Well, I guess we will better get everything ready. Make sure everything is decent. And make sure that Pikachu and Spike and Giggles are ready to meet or whoever is going to be staying with us. Yes, sir. Spike, go get Pikachu from upstairs and tell him to come down here. It's almost time for. Uh. Uh. It's almost time to, to go um to bed. Yes. This is Isabella. Come on, Pikachu. We have to go back down. Woody says it's almost time for bed. All right, you guys go to bed, and um, and I'll see you guys tomorrow because we got a big day tomorrow, and no messing around. We won't, Woody. We won't. I'm kind of glad they went to bed. Uh, Isabella, is um, Giggles uh, ready for bed? Yes, but she wants you to um, uh, she wants to know what she, if she if she if she can have a friend over tomorrow too. Of oh, sure, of oh, course. I'll go pick. I'll ask her who she wants me to pick up tomorrow, and I'll go pick her up, or whoever it is. Giggles. Yes, Dad. Um. What did you, uh, did, did you want, uh, you, you to have a friend over tomorrow? Yeah, we were wanting to, I want to have a friend over for sleepover, that's alright. Yeah, that's fine. Mom said it was okay, too. Good, that's good. Uh, you head up to bed, too, and don't worry about Pikachu and, uh, Spike, they're always fighting. Okay, see you tomorrow, Dad. Night. Night. Well, you better go check your emails. Yeah, you're right. Better go check those emails. Okay. Uh, let's check these emails. Okay. All right. All my emails are checked. I sent out uh, a bit of change. I sent out a message to my to Blossom saying that my our daughter's in bed and she'll and everything and she'll be ready to, to um for her friend to come over is what I told her so I told her she can stay until Sunday or something all right well good night Woody good night but um good night Isabel. Uh, I guess it's time for me to hit the hay too.